In the peculiar town of Gowlesville, where the fog was as thick as the local diner's pea soup, there lived an enigmatic figure, known as the Undertaker. But this was no ordinary mortician. Oh no, he was the spectral kind, with a penchant for dramatic entrances and a flair for the theatrics. The Undertaker, with his towering hat and coat as dark as a raven's wing, had a reputation for being the life or rather, the death of the party. He didn't just walk, he glided, leaving a trail of goosebumps and the faint scent of graveyard dirt in his wake. Now, our tale begins on a night much like any other, with the moon playing peekaboo behind the clouds and the wind whispering secrets to anyone who'd listen. Young Lily, a girl with more curiosity than sense, decided it was the perfect evening for a stroll through the most haunted cemetery in Galsville. As she tiptoed between the tombstones, reading epitaphs that ranged from Here Lies Ed, who caught a cold, and now he's dead, to Rip Barry, who thought he could outrun a dairy lorry, she heard a sound that made her heart skip a beat. It was a deep, guttural chuckle that seemed to come from the very earth beneath her feet. Turning around, Lily came face to face with the Undertaker, who was currently engaged in a heated debate with a ghost about the proper way to haunt a house. You've got to rattle the chains with more gusto, like this. He demonstrated with such enthusiasm that the chains broke, clattering to the ground. Oh, bother, the Undertaker sighed, his voice echoing like a bell tolling at midnight. Do you know how hard it is to find good haunting chains these days? Lily couldn't help but giggle at the sight, which caught the Undertaker's attention. Ah, a living audience. Tell me, young miss, do you enjoy a good scare? Before she could answer, the Undertaker whisked her away on a ghostly tour, showcasing his collection of spirits that ranged from the mildly morose to the downright dramatic. They encountered a phantom pianist who played nothing but chopsticks, a headless horseman who kept misplacing his head, and a poltergeist with a penchant for puns. As the night wore on, Lily realized that while the Undertaker might be a harbinger of doom, he was also the soul of the party. With a wink and a tip of his hat, he bid her farewell, leaving her with a story so fantastically frightful and hilariously haunting that she couldn't wait to share it with her friends if they believe her, that is. And so, the legend of the Undertaker grew, not just as a spooky specter, but as Galsville's most entertaining phantom, proving that even in the afterlife, a good laugh is just a tombstone's throwaway.